It was his farm, and he was standing in the paddock next to the milk barn, and Zoe walked up to him and reached toward him with her nose. She was hoping he had some sweet treat, some cow cubes, perhaps, to give her. When he touched her nose, she realized that he didn't have anything for her to eat, so she turned away, uninterested, and sauntered across the green grass of the paddock, her empty udder swinging with each step. This time it was more real. Well, it felt real. There was still just the slightest hint of that sense of everything being too perfect, but for some reason Jed's mind was now taking over and fixing the two right things that should have been wrong. His brain roughed up the image until he agreed to be convinced that what he was experiencing was real. He looked up into the clouds and he could see the three-dimensional wispiness that modern artists never seem to get right. He had seen art before, in school, or on trips to town with his father. He looked toward the road and his attention fell on a mud hollow the pigs had dug out while rooting. A recent rain had filled the little hollow with muddy water. Jed turned and saw the barn that beautiful, glorious structure that held so much meaning for him. His eyes tracked upward and he saw the place where the special window should have been in the gabled end of the uppermost peak of the barn. The window, frame and all, was missing. He looked back down and at the base of the barn he saw a set of hay hooks he'd dropped there on the day he'd left for New Pennsylvania. He had forgotten to put the hooks back in the barn and there they were still there. The hay hooks were a detail, one of a thousand that convinced him the vision was real, not something concocted in order to trick him. 